Hey Bray Bosses, it is Jen, your exclusive Bray Boss coach. And I actually want to come in and talk to you guys about, about some important, th important things that you need to have on your booking site. For those of you guys who do not know, I just recently did a video where I told you guys um, how to set up your acuity. So that's an example of a site. So hopefully I'll link it above or below. Let's get directly into it. So this is actually brought to you by my Braid Hair for Cash course. For those of you guys who do not know, I have a course where I teach you how to start your braiding business. Let's go. So the first thing you need to put on your site is what is the next step? After somebody books you, what, what will they expect? Will you follow up? Should they be sending you a deposit? What do they need to bring? These are the kind of things that you need to be telling your people what to do after they book you. They can't just book you and then it's just blah. It's like, no, let them know. You'll be following up by a text or let them know what, how you want them to pay your deposit, all that good stuff, and what should they bring, right? So you should be telling them what the next steps are. Okay. The next thing you guys, what are your policies? Do you have a cancellation policy? Do you have a deposit policy? Do you have a refunds policy? I see um, some braiders, they say they want deposits, but they don't tell you people how to do the deposits. So you might want to do something like, you know, before I can confirm, while you scheduled, in order for me to confirm your appointment, you need to send me a deposit at this amount, at this whatever. That could be your Zelle, that could be your Cash App. However you choose to do it, you need to tell people this. I went to a braider about, I mean, not a braider, I went to a hairstylist about, I want like three, four months ago, and um, I hit her up like a week later, and it was my appointment. I'm like, hey, what's up with my appointment? She's like, oh, you never sent me the deposit, and I said, and you never told me how to send you the deposit. So she was like, oh, well, can you send me $24 deposit on to this cash app, then I'll you know, I email you. So that's an example of somebody who wanted me to send a deposit, but she didn't tell me how to send a deposit. She didn't tell me where to send a deposit to. So I ended up cash napper, cash apping her the deposit, and then she sent me a text saying, "Hey, you're confirmed." And then she let me know she's gonna follow up with some other details. So this is why you need to have this just blatant on your website, so it's not a secret, and so people don't be hitting you up thinking you're flaking on them or your business is not set up right. Just let people know up front what is the deposit, where they need to send a deposit. Also, let people know about your refund policy. Let people know if you don't do refunds, have that there. If you do have a refund policy, let people know what your refund policy is. If you have a cancellation policy, which will be linked to your deposits, why right? let people know if, if you know you cancel. How are you going to handle it? If they candle, cancel, how are they going to handle it? Do you have a late policy? Let people know about that. If they late, this is what's going to happen. If you, you know, cancel, this is what's going to happen. But you need to have these policies in plain sight so people can't say they don't know what you're talking about or nothing like that. Even though we know some people still don't read, you want to have it there for your own backup. So if people try to, you know, make statements about you or your brand and your business, you can always say, no, check my site. It's always been this way. This is how I operate my business. So make sure you have late policies on there. The refunds, deposits, cancellations need to be on your site. And the last thing but not least, you guys, is contact information. Again, how can people contact you? Your name, your email, your IG. It don't even have to be that. It could be a number if you want it to be. But you need to have it on your site because people need a way to contact you now. What I would also do is put how you want to be contacted. Because what a lot of people tend to do is think just because they book you, now they get to harass you, now they get to blow your phone up, now they get to send you 10, 20 emails. No man. Okay? You need to be very clear. Hey, if you have any questions or concerns, please contact me here. Whatever, insert whatever. That could be your phone number, that could be IG, that can be your PMs, your DMs, however you want that to be. Between you need to tell them between these time frames and you need to give me 24 to 48 hours to respond you know most of us are we have our phones so you can respond in a day but if you you know if you choose to have that on your confirmation i said confirmation contact information on your site you need to tell people how you want to be contacted what time you want to be contacted and the time frame that you need to be allotted to respond to their request you guys so again the three things you need is one tell your clients about the next steps after they book you two you need to have all your policies on display refunds cancellation late deposits all that and you need to have some type of contact information and that is completely up to you that could be your name and an email a phone number 
uh, IG, however you choose to be contacted, but it needs to be on there so people can book you again. This is brought to you by my Braid Hair for Cash Course. Hashtag Pretty Gang or Braid Bosses in the comments. And I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye, y'all.